Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Railway. I know it's been some time since my last video, so today is going to be a quick one showing you how to fix up the automatically placed catenary masts on electrified tracks. This technique uses network skins too, and the props included in the Railway collection. To get started, select the track and open the Network Skins 2 settings for catenaries and select Invisible Catenary R1 Double. This means you'll still have the wires, but the masts are invisible. You'll see that as I upgrade the track, the supports will disappear. In the UK, catenary supports are typically spaced at between 50 and 60 metres. To make sure I've got about the right distance, I'm using Prop Line Tool with these ruler props to measure things out and identify where I should place the custom supports. I'm using the Swiss style props here, and they're made up of a few individual parts. You have the vertical strut, the concrete base, the catenary support arms themselves, and then you have two different types of horizontal supports. One that's tapered to the end, that's where it connects to the vertical strut, and one which has a consistent shape throughout its length. One thing I've found that really helps me build things quickly is to use the keyboard shortcuts in Move It. I have Ctrl H mapped to align heights, which will align one item to the height of another. Ctrl G aligns an object to the ground, and I use Ctrl E to align the rotation of items in place. Have a look at the settings menu for Move It, and set up a few that work for you. A trick I use quite a lot to ensure items are aligned is to use the Ctrl E keyboard shortcut I mentioned earlier to rotate items in place, and then hold Alt while rotating objects to snap the rotation to 45 degree increments. Another movement feature which I use a lot is to hold Ctrl, which gives you fine movement control, making it far easier to line things up perfectly. I've created two separate support beams here because there's not enough space on just one for four support arms. Instead, I'll use this one for the diverging track and the other for the track going straight ahead. Because there's a bit more space on this mast, I'm going to use a catenary support that has two arms. Getting it to a line is always a little bit of trial and error, but you can use the cinematic camera extended mod to flatten the field of view, which makes it easier to line things up. So, with the final few touches, we're done. Now this railway junction no longer has catenary masts clipping into tracks or into trains. It's really quite a quick way to tidy up some of the default behaviour in the game to make your railways look that much more realistic. I hope this quick tutorial has been helpful for you. I have another one almost ready to go and can't wait to share it with you. If there are any techniques like this you'd like me to focus on in future, please do let me know in the comments. But for now, see you next time.